Mantle cell lymphoma is a rare disease in the community, but a lot of progress has been made. For example, at this ASH conference, I had the honor to present the international clinical trial with 40 hospitals across nine, oh sorry, across 10 countries in three continents. This uh, 124 patient was treated with uh, colobrinib and based on very, this very clinical trial, the US FDA approved a colobrinib for relapse in mantle cell lymphoma six weeks ago on October 31st of 2017. This means a lot to our patients. This kind of therapies, imagine, in the past, in order to achieve this kind of efficacy, we have to give the patient chemotherapy, five drugs all together in the hospital, hair is gone, nausea, vomiting, blood counts low, infections, transfusions. Now, in the new era of biological therapy, this acalabritin is just the pill. The patient takes the pill at home, doesn't need to come to the hospital, and does not need a central line catheter, no nausea or vomiting, and um, their lymphoma goes away 81% of the time. Think about the chemo-free therapy, is replacing chemotherapy, not only for better efficacy, but for better eff uh, uh, toxicity profile. So the era, the era of biological therapy is here, and the chemo-free therapy is replacing chemotherapy. So I'm just so excited. You know what? This means so much to our patients. Their quality of life, their, their hope their, to survival, their struggle to survival, and um, everything that they deserve. We live in the most, most exciting era of science and technology. Our generation is the luckiest generation than any other generation in the whole world, whole history of mankind, because we have more technologies and knowledge and, and science than every other generation. But we also have a duty responsibility to use those technologies and science into the, our best benefit for our patients.